It's no secret food insecurity is a problem here at home too. And there's no doubt the pandemic made the problem even worse. I met up with some people working hard to be the solution. Cosetta McVeigh started her personal garden four years ago, and she grows herbs, fruits, and vegetables. She started growing her own food because... The cost of food is, is so much, you know, and just it, it's healthier. She donates much of what she grows to local organizations, and she gives some to her neighbors. I have elderly neighbors, so I take them foods I share with my family. She even offers one-on-one -on -one gardening classes to teach people how to grow their own food. Grace Community Center has partnered with Central State University to teach people how to garden as well. They started the garden because of the prevalence of food deserts. Food deserts are areas that don't have many grocery stores or markets to provide people with fresh and healthy foods. You'll see a lot of corner stores that provide people with most of their food. You'll also see many fast food options that provide little to no healthy food. We're dealing with a high poverty rate of probably about 40% of the residents in the uh, zip codes that we serve. The pandemic largely impacted poverty rates Grace Community Center went from serving 250 households to over 2,500. They also expanded the areas they serve. They went from serving four zip codes to 17 as a result of the pandemic. Elaine Page, the executive director of Grace Community Center, not only wants to help improve the health of communities, but also rejuvenate them. This is sort of a catalyst for neighborhood re revitalization and couple that with health, couple that with the ability to uh, learn a skill set both McVeigh and Page stress the importance of growing your own food. They say it's cheaper and, of course, free of pesticides. Gardening classes start April 4th at Grace Community Center. For more information, visit ut10news.com.